Hi, it's Becky with Vintage Viking uh, Treasures. I'm going to do this next haul is just a big conglomerate of what has piled up from the week and I'm just behind on. Um, it's from thrift stores, antique lots, um, and I think maybe even something from an antique mall and probably my trip to the bins. There's some random things from that. I have some that I've saved up for with some an ephemeral lot and I'll do that one separately. But here we go. All right, this one, oh, okay. I think this is Indiana glass on the top. Somewhere in one of the bags is the lid for it. But after market, they have put it on a pedestal with matching amber prisms and a marble base. So this whole thing is connected with a screw all the way through the whole thing. It's beautiful. I've um, I've sold these amber candy dishes before, but I've had them in different colors. So normally I don't like this as much in amber because it's pretty common color. But with all this extra down here, I went ahead and picked it up. When I find the lid, as we get through it, we'll put it together and I'll show it to you too. All right, here is a little turtle. He is adorable. He's like Coisonne, or I don't know, maybe he's even porcelain on top. And he's a music box and a jewelry box with the red felt or velour lining. He's got a tag underneath here. Let me peel this up, see if we can read it. It says Westland Solvang 1982. Feeling. Oh, somebody gave it to their mother. For Mother's Day on 1982, and I think the song is Feeling, and it's made in Japan. So it's underneath that Goodwill, oh, it's upside down. It's really cute, it's a little brass turtle. Let's see if we can get a little bit to play for us and not serenade us all. Oh, sure, did it. And it turns off when you close it. Isn't that nice? It's not like those other ones where you can just, they just play all day. All right, let's see. This is a pottery pitcher. Super cute. Like the blue ombre into the white. Little Dutch kissing kids with their windmill. Same design on both sides. There's a little tiny, tiny bit of glaze missing right there. It's got a little bit of a couple chips right here, but it is in gorgeous condition. It's like uh, seven inches tall. Really nice piece of pottery. That is a Goodwill buy. <clears throat> I have to make piles for trash of all my wrap and everything. This is a little strawberry motif container. I don't know if it had a lid originally, like a canister, but I thought it'd be super cute for pens or, um, like nail file or something in your re in your restroom, in your bathroom, in the kitchen, whatever. It's Otagiri 1982. That was from a little local um, thrift shop. It's actually only been open for about a year. Right next to my house. Super convenient. I got this one too at the small thrift store. It is a, uh, you know, Pikes Peaks right out our window. It says Pikes Peak Elevation, 14,115 feet, world famous donuts. And that's a Sasquatch in front of the, the mountain range. And then it gives a description about Captain uh, Hanson Crockett Gregory, who was the inventor of the donut. And when we, um, they're renovating it right now at the top of Pikes Peak. They have a visitor center where the train goes, the Crog. Cog Railway runs up to out of Manitou Springs. It's all supposed to open up again in the next year or so. They're renovating the house and everything and they have donuts that they make in the little cafeteria in the gift shop at the top of Pikes Peak and they're supposed to be the best donuts ever because there's so much less oxygen up there. I don't know. Something to do with that. So it's a pretty cool local little mug. Now these guys just all the paper off. Where did they come from? This is a little Goodwill lot. It's 
a little gentleman holding his top hat right here under his hand. He's got the ruffly sleeves. I don't know if it's like the Florence stuff or I don't think it's like uh, the spaghetti. It's like the porcelain lace. You can't read it. He doesn't have a label under there. But he's holding a little bouquet in his hand up here. He's got his ruffle sleeves, ruffle on his shirt, and his top hat, and his little tail coat. Adorable. He came out of the Goodwill. I think this is, I looked it up the other day. Oh, no, I can't remember the name of the pottery. Super cute little puppy. And I'd look him up again, except for I Googled him on my phone, and that's what I'm recording with. So he's just a little pottery piece, Goodwill one. These are the creamers that came in, the ra they call them rainbow creamers, I think, pictures. Four colors, red, blue, green, yellow. And I think originally they came in like cereal boxes or something. Very collectible. Everybody loves them for their shelves, for that pop of color. I think I got two of them. No mark on the bottom. Came from Goodwill. Here's the other one in the beautiful cobalt color. The nice cased painted on the outside, white glass on the inside. I got a couple 31 little totes. I can't pass those up, especially this one. Look at this one. It's got frogs all over it. Is that not adorable or what? I don't know. I have a 31 thing. I can't leave them behind if they're reasonable prices. It's another uh, glown black. Glow. Blown glass ornament. Rolled in the frit to get all those beautiful colors. That came out of the Goodwill. It's a friendship ball. Blown glass pear. Clear stem, clear leaf. I have no idea who made this one. There's nothing on the bottom. It looks like bubbles, but it's not. It's the pattern, the Looks like a rib optic. Oh my goodness, I'm getting tang tangled. Rib optic on the inside, and you see it through the glass. It's very pretty. I think this is about the same kind of era as the, the little gentleman with his top hat. It's one of those candle huggers. Is she not the cutest? White porcelain pottery with gold details. She's got gold eyes, little paws, and little fur details. But there was only one, but I had to rescue her. I couldn't leave her there all by herself at the Goodwill. Let's see. Oh, yes. Um, there's a little, um, um, ministry shop that opens up like once a month for a collectible sale and they had some of these uh, Mexican pottery critters he looks like a toucan he says Mexico right there it's the only mark I'm seeing on him but beautiful cobalt tan colors I think I found a couple of them if I'm not mistaken Here's another one. He's an owl. And he's different because he's flat on this side. And he's got a scene, a little ombre sitting by the aloe and the cactus plants. Instead of being painted like the features of the owl, he's got a scene on him. So I thought he was cute. I think there's one more. Yep, one more of those guys. Another owl. He's like a little roly poly one. He's cobalt and green, browns. He's got three feet underneath and it says Mexico. So they're all a little bit different. None of them are exactly the same in how they are um, decorated. He's a little tiny bell. I thought this one was just so cute. It's got a little pixie with a little baby pixie sleeping, nuzzled in the in the grass, being watched over by a butterfly. 
Isn't she just adorable? And the little baby on the back side. There we go. Got a ringer. It's marked. I don't know. Something glass company. 1975. Right there inside the bell. Found this one at the Ark. It was like one of the only things I found that day. I'm not real sure who made this one. Nice deep blue color. Almost that uh, gray blue, steel blue, navy blue. Two piece candy dish. Footed. Pretty cute. I'm going to have to ask my friend who made that one. I have no clue on that one. But it's a beautiful color. And a great price. Oh, I couldn't leave him at there. Look at him. Cherry's Teddies. I know there's not a huge market for him. But he's a little fairy with a little, little pointy hat sitting underneath his mushroom. With his little elf shoes on and his little pot of gold. I thought he was adorable. Ah, this icky newspaper. This is a glass egg, like an aqua color, and it is etched. It says the White House with a picture of the White House, Easter 2001. So we'll see if we can bring that in there. You can kind of see it. It's hard to see. There it is. I know it's bad words, but there we go. I have no clue who made that. I guess that's what this, this, this whole thrift haul. No clue who made it, but it sure is pretty. I guess I'll buy it and take it home. With no mark on the base either. Little paperweight. Got these stickers, tape everywhere. The flower that's been drilled in or blown in. I'm not sure how they make that. I've watched the videos and sometimes I still don't understand it. But it's beautiful, cute little paperweight. Maybe two inches tall, three inches across. Pink floral. And it is not marked either. Some of these come out of China because they are uh, imitating the higher end glass companies. But there's no mark on this one at all. It's just a nice ground base. Oh, these are the best scrapers ever. Have you guys ever used these? It's called Scrape Around. You grab onto it, scrape your window, and you're done. Super fast. We're forever losing them or running out of them since we have five drivers at our house. Everybody always needs a new one. Here's a cute little planter. It's an oval. And it's a matte finish, but it's a really smooth finish. It has these decorated leaf, acorn leaf kind of feet designs all four of them and then underneath it says well it's really hard to read but it says Royal Hagar with a number on it it's really pretty nice matte design it wouldn't it be great for one of those uh, assemblages it would go with any any holiday that you wanted to put um, a decoration up with oh poor little baby her little container was squished a little doll, little souvenir doll from Norway. Always try and pick up the Scandinavian stuff for my Scandinavian fairs. And a pair of crocheted matching, two of them, pillowcases. Little pink roses, little lace. You can see through. Those are really fun. Okay, what else? Oh, and of course. I bought a 31 bag and carried it out in it. All right, what's next? Let me move a few things around here. You can see the top of my head bobbing and weaving for a second. All right, I got these at the bins. I'm not sure. I mean, it was included in the, I think the regular price is like one sixty nine a pound. So I scooped up all the letters and the, the tiles of the Scrabble and the stands. I got one of those, what, maybe half a pound? So... 60 cents, 75 cents, 80 cents, something like that. 
All right, next bag, a little Swedish wooden three-toed candle holder. I don't even remember where this was. Oh, it was a new thrift store I went to in Pueblo. Owl pottery mug from Better Homes and Gardens. Super cute. All right, let me take a minute. Let me pull another round up so it's close for unloading. I'll be right back. Okay, you ready for what's next? I pulled up the next bag. Let's see what's in it. Try to clean up a little bit of the mess there. All right, it's another one of the Mexican pottery kind of guys. It says, it says E something Mexico on his tail right there. He is more of that stoneware rough pottery and then the enameled glazed design all over him. Cute little duck. Cobalt browns, greens. Adorable. We're going to have us a little menagerie of, of these fowls all mixed together here on the table. Oh, now these were adorable. I don't know who made these. They are, oh, they put them together with a zip tie. Thank you, Goodwill. Let me see. Let me grab a pair of scissors quick. So I don't keep knocking them together. Hopefully it won't break them. Come on, cooperate. There we go. All right. They are a salt and pepper set. Shakers. Cute little mice. Off-white pottery with brown details. With a stopper on the bottom, like shaped like a wedge of cheese. Adorable. Oh wait, I don't know. Yeah, California. California pottery, USA. There we go. Now we're cooking. Got us a identifier. All right. I have like, I have such a backup, it's ridiculous. I'm like, oh, I'll just wait until I do another haul. Yeah. A week later, no. So here it is, all at once. I'm gonna chop it up into a few videos. I got a bag full of ceramic handled servers. So fruits, vegetables, there's a little penguin in there. There he is. He might even be an ornament. How odd is that? But forks, knives. I just thought they were cute for the booth to put them out for, you know, like little um, cheese dips or stuff like that. <laughs> they ran out of wrap at the Goodwill when I got these. So I had bought these, um, shh, don't tell my daughter, to surprise. Some recyclable, um, like ceiling bags for lunches and stuff and leftovers. So I took the whole lot apart and shoved one piece in each one so they wouldn't knock together. So at least I got them home safe. Here is one like Art Deco shaker. It's got like the waterfall front design. Uh, no, hope you can see straight through it. No stopper in black shiny finish. That one actually says flower in it. Let's see if we can come up with the other one. Here's the other, another bag. This one says pepper. So I don't know. They look like bookends. Maybe they sat in a spice rack, but they certainly are cute art deco and these are the only two that survived, at least to get to Goodwill. Here's another reusable bag with a rock spear in it. And that will be going in the booth. What's next? Oh, I got these. Okay, so I was talking bad about Goodwill this day. Like I've been going for weeks and I pick up one item here, one item there, barely getting anything. That's why I've been really looking at the online auctions a lot more. So I've been, so I can pick up more than one piece of glass in a stop. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love looking. I love hunting. It's the thrill of it. It's, um, you know, going and rescuing pieces that are going to be destined for the landfill or and reuniting them with someone who appreciates them and loves them and has a collection of them. That's what I love doing. It's the thrill of it. Now, I only collect certain things, but I have to rescue a lot of other things. And since I have my booth, I also pick up some um, good things to throw out there that I can give pass on to a good price for other people. So 
I was like, oh, I haven't seen anything good at Goodwill for a while, but I'm close. I'll stop in, see what they have. I didn't even get a cart. Well, you guessed it. Thank goodness. By the time I was done, I had filled up my entire cart. I had clothes. I had pottery. I had, I had everything. So I was like, sorry, Goodwill. Didn't mean to talk bad about you. So that came from, these came from that haul. It is a nesting bowl set. Cute little stripes with carrots. Orange on the inside. What? Three bucks for three bowls. Those will go out on my table. That helps pay the rent. Even though they're not terribly collectible, they're not old, at least they're fun for doing displays and people like them for seasonal things. Found one Cinderella bowl, white with the blue flowers. That'll probably go out at the table. It's got, yeah, you're not going to be able to see it. You can see a little bit. See those scratches in there. So it's in rough shape, but I had to rescue it. You don't want it to be all by itself, but Goodwill. One lone Pyrex bowl. And they didn't have any paper again. So I have like 20 million bags. This, oh man, he's got a chip on him. Cute little bunny mug. The front of the bunny in his ears and his toes. Backside. Isn't he cute? Looking for, they're finally putting out some Easter stuff around here too. It's kind of silly. You would think they'd move on to the next holiday. They barely even had any Valentines out. Corn shakers on a tray. Looks like leaves. Super cute. Oh, look at that. They're marked salt. Pepper. Manufactured in Japan. And the tray, does it have... Yeah. Nope, it doesn't have any marks on the bottom. Gotta untape it all. It's nice. At least these ones... What my Goodwill's been doing lately is charging $1.29 per shaker and the next piece. So not like a whole set. I'm like, well, at least, you know, keep the sets together. They've been doing it with shakers. They've been doing it with um, candlesticks. I'm like, you know... We'd buy all of them, just price them accordingly and keep them together. I found a little leprechaun. He has that bisque painted. So he's not very smooth, but he is cute. He does say made in Taiwan, little sticker on the bottom, but I couldn't leave him. He falls in that category of, of gnomes, pixies, Trolls, Nessa, Tomtis, whatever you want to call them. I love them. Have a whole collection of them, as you can tell around my house right here. That's the one that came from Misty. So, gotta rescue the trolls. Save the Tomtis. That's the Swedish word for gnome, by the way. This is one of those character cartoon mugs. I don't remember who the name of this artist is. But it's like a 3D kind of um, embossed feel to the mug on stoneware. Stevens Pass, that might be a, a skiing place. I don't know, a ski location of some sort somewhere. But it's a cute little mug. Everybody loves skiing around here. And they love, the tourists love going to where our booth is. It's really close to Garden of the Gods. And so it's got a big pull for... Um, visitors and um, tourists to come and look at all the collectibles and then they can pick up a cheap you know Colorado um, souvenir without paying the big bucks at the at the shops or wherever they're going so that's why I like to pick up the Colorado stuff around here put it out of my booth hey found the lid it's an amber lid all right let's get you both together here so everybody can see and appreciate you all together. There it is. Amber candy dish on the base with the amber crystals. This I think is cast iron or brass on the Mabel marble base. So pretty cool. What's funny is I had seen the bottom of that by itself on one shelf, like on the top of the rounders. And I'm sure the rounders are like this to me. Um, and then I saw another amber candy dish with that lid on top of it. And I'm like, oh no, <laughs> that goes on my candy dish. Thank you very much. Let's put them together. 
Let's keep them where it's supposed to be. Okay. More. See, they packed in... This is why bags cost so much. That's how they packed all my, my breakables. These are potter... Potters? Pots? Planters! There it is. They are like um, hiking boots. Super cute. You know, not too much to look at like this with the marbled glaze. The cute little la laces, but look at this. They got the boot print underneath that is unglazed. So cool. No mark, no maker's mark. And the even, it makes it even more amazing that they survive. There's two of them. So they're not like, a right, are they a right and a left? I don't know. They're pretty much interchange. They're, they're universal. One shoe at a time. But here's what else I think. Up here, I think they're an ashtray. Because it's got an indent here. And yeah, so cigarette, ashes in the boot. Um, PSM, made in Japan. This one does have a sticker. For all the hikers out there. Let's see. I mean, she did a fairly decent job, at least, of wrapping stuff, considering. However, depression glass, pink depression glass, tape shut. I pulled it, and I'm like, I have to at least look at it before I buy this, because one time I bought a covered candy dish. It was Viking. Had the tape over it like this, same as this. I get it home, start to wash it up, the knob right here just falls off somebody had glued it back on and as i put it under hot water and washed it up it released the glue and it just fell off so ever since then i'm like can i please untape this to make sure it's okay before i buy it so this one is super cool i have to ask mom who made it it's got flowers on it i say cherry blossom but last time i said cherry blossom it was really adam so who knows we'll double check it with mom she knows more about that. Okay. Last one in this bag. In the super handy, dandy, reusable plastic thing that I'm probably never going to be able to get this mug out of. Uh, <laughs> there it goes. Phew. That's right. Be kind. That is a, uh, oh, right off the tip of my tongue. You all know who it is. Why can't I say it? Ray Dunn. Ray Dunn mug. I thought that was a, a score. Around here, you don't find many of those at the thrift stores. Okay. We're going to the, oh, the big mamma jamma bag. Temptations. Let's see, where's the front so I can show you? There we go. Here's the front. Whoa. It's a little embossed opening. Beehive canister set. Stacking bowl with lid with a little bee on the top. Canister set. Now, normally, I wouldn't pick something like this up, but Goodwill was on a roll. They had someone who was marking stuff with reasonable prices, and this comped out at $20 to $30 from QVC, plus shipping, so I figure I should be able to get a decent amount out of it at my table, and then I don't have to ship it. So that's why I picked that guy up. All right, moving on. I think this next round is from an auction I went to. I didn't get very much. I got that green, whoop, this way, whoop, right there, that green Blinko vase. It's got clear handles. Let's see if I can, right here, let's pull it out. Put the bubble wrap over here. Okay. Green, gorgeous green. Clear handles, clear foot, Blinko sticker. That was my first and only purchase for like the first three hours of the auction. But, you know, it's entertaining and it's fun to go to. 
So later on when they got into some of the box lots, I got a few things, including these little guys that all came in the bottom of a box lot. One little tiny, tiny porcelain kitten. This one is Redware, and I'm wondering if he's Francoma, because he really looks like the Francoma glaze pottery stuff. So I'm gonna look him up for that. And then one more of the little porcelain cats. These are like those, Hmm. I like a type cut tray as a kid where you put in the little bitty animals and they came on the little paper squares and you got to buy them. That's what this is. Can I, do I know that? I never knew the name of those to begin with, so I can't tell you. But again, I don't know what it is, but I know it's good. <laughs> That's the theme for today's video. Ah, yes. I got a lot of, another lot of glowy glass. Green depression glass. Beautiful ice pitcher, water pitcher. Look at her glow. Gorgeous. About seven inches tall. And in that lot, I also got one glowy salt shaker. Look how well that glows. Um, See what it, it's okay not glowy but a glass fruit I think it had oh it's cobalt base glass look at that can you see the cobalt coming through the back and then the finish the iridized finish that's been put on the outside I'm pretty sure it's like an oil candle where you put the little glass piece with the wick in there and it has an etch signature on the bottom that is hard to read. Glass. Something, something glass. 1978. So I'll look into that and I'll probably put that. Hopefully, I can add informative content in the form of words later when I'm editing the video. A mixing bowl. That came in the green lot. Does it glow? Yes, it does. This is a paneled mixing bowl, and it probably was one of the um, the nesting sets. So this is one of the bigger ones. Anchor Hawking or um, Hazel Atlas would be a maker on that one. Okay. Also in the green glowy lot. Excuse me, everyone. We're gonna need to make some room. Here we go. We got some plates. I got a diamond on. They look clear, but they are a green, that green color again. So I have a whole stack of them. They're wrapped up in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. Let's see, do they glow? Take one off the stack so I don't have to unload them all. Um, they do a little bit, but it's really hard to see because it's not very thick glass. There you can see it. And the thicker the glass and the edges, that's where you can really see. But look at that gorgeous um, oh, optic that they put on the rim of those plates. They're like a bread and butter size plate. So 10 of those in that pile. Let's see, aha, a creamer. This is a plain one, no pattern on it. Nice streamlined. keep turning it off and yes it glows so that whole lot I got all the green glows beautifully and then I got this little cranberry opalescent spiral optic jug creamer pitcher whatever its real name is what I don't know you can see the spiral optic so you can see it going one way in the front the other way on the back, and that's what makes that crisscross pattern when you look through the whole thing. It's very cute. What I don't know is if it's early Fenton, they didn't mark. Does not have a pontal, does not have a polished bottom, so that tells me it was blown into a mold. So it's either early Fenton or Victorian glass. So I'll have to ask my Fenton experts which direction this cranberry piece goes. I got a second bag at the bins. Same deal. This 
Scrabble pieces and a little tiny set of dominoes. Thought they'd be really cute in a jar for a display. Oh, I got, yeah. Circo dinosaur pajama set, brand new in the package. That'll go out on the table. Um, wedge light. Have you seen these? They like light up and then they go in your book at night so you don't have to have a book light. Super cute, new in the box. And a bride's planner. I have. 13 nieces and nephews. So someday, somebody out there will need one of these, and I bought it for 69 cents at a pound at the bins. All right, last piece from this lot, and this group, I think. I think I've gone through all of it for right now. Then we'll do another one. This was at the auction. She was in my box with the glass. So the green glass, the cranberry spiral opalescent, a few of those little cat critters. She is beautiful. Her hat with the feather, She's holding a rose over here, a whole basket full of flowers, standing in front of a tree, Look at all the leaves. Look at those shoes, the detail, with the bows on the shoes. Now, I'm fairly certain the majority of all her bits are intact. However, I think there's probably got to be some little itty bitty. Yep, there's a little half a leaf missing right there. But she is marked with a cobalt crown and an N underneath. And it says a number 18. And I'm told that she's German. So look at that corset, all the detail. Beautiful figurine. I'm like, okay, I wanted the other stuff bonus in the box. That's why I love going and getting box lots because you just never know what you're going to get. So I think that's going to do it for this round. I'll get some of this edited. I'll get some of it um, researched, put some more information up there for you. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next haul.